Former National Unity Minister P. Veta Murthy said only Prime Minister Ismail Sabri Yaqob can dissolve Parliament to make way for a general election since he still commands the majority support of MPs. Veta pointed out that Article 55.3 of the Federal Constitution provides for a maximum five-year Parliament term but does not state who can call for its dissolution and under what circumstances. He said in the absence of any provisions or conditions laid down by the Constitution, it was safe to interpret that the total discretion as to when to call for the dissolution of Parliament rests entirely upon the Prime Minister himself. The former Hindraf leader said in a statement that Ismail was appointed to the top post by the young Dipratuan Agong on the basis that he had the majority support of MPs in Dewan Rakyat. He said the notion that cabinet must approve the prime minister's decision to dissolve parliament is a fallacy and does not have legal justification. Weta also said Article 43.4 of the Constitution provides the King with the authority to refuse to dissolve Parliament if the Prime Minister has lost the majority support of MPs. He said given that Ismail commands the majority support, the right to dissolve Parliament is absolutely his discretion to exercise under Article 55 of the Federal Constitution. Earlier today, Utusan Malaysia reported that cabinet members were divided over a proposal to hold G15 this year and that UMNO ministers' push for early polls had been shot down by their colleagues, especially those from Perikatan National.